it's Jeremy with Teletone. I want to do a quick tutorial today. This is something that uh, some of you may know how to do, but I want to show you a slight variation on it. And then another option that I think a lot of you probably don't know about. So let's jump on in. And I was thinking about this the other day because our friend Dan Keen uh, did a really great walkthrough slash review of Scarbo. And he uh, touched on this a little bit. So, I, And I don't think I had ever highlighted it uh, on our videos. So you guys know that uh, in Scarbo, you can use the mod wheel to change the envelope filtering. Um, but uh, you may or may not have known that you can also uh, use the mod wheel to control the mood and movement uh, knobs. Just control click or right click if you're on a PC. Learn MIDI CC automation. And then just jiggle the mod wheel. And now you can see these two are synced up. And you can also add the movement in there. So now just, uh, you know, using the mod wheel, you can uh, automate all three. Okay, so that was the first thing I wanted to show you. The next thing I wanted to show you is a little bit slightly different way to get to the same result. Uh, and that is if you go to this automation tab and when you wiggle the mod wheel, notice that this uh, red square lights up here. Um, you may have a MIDI keyboard that has other knobs on it that you've never messed with and don't really know what they do. Um, in all likelihood, they do whatever you want them to. So I have four knobs here on my keyboard and when I jiggle this one, you see how I get this red square on CC74. So if I want to assign this knob uh, to the mood knob, uh, you can drag it on there. Although I still have uh, the mod wheel on there so we can remove that, that's MIDI CC1. And now this mood knob will be controlled by this tiny little knob I have on my keyboard. Uh, and then I could um, let me remove this one. And then I have another tiny knob right next to this one. When you wiggle it, you can see that CC71 lights up. So we can drag that onto movement. And now I can turn these independently while moving the mod wheel too. control there. And there's one last thing I wanted to show you. This is kind of a cool trick that I did not learn for a long time when I was using contact. Um, let's say that you want to attach the modulation mood and movement all to the mod wheel again. So let's just redo this. Learn CC, wiggle the mod wheel. Learn MIDI CC, wiggle the mod wheel. Um, but let's say that we wanted the mood and movement knobs to their values to be inverted so that when one goes up, the other one goes down. Um, the way that you can do that, so you wiggle your mod wheel, you see the red square popping up, CC1, and you see down here, look all the way down, there is modulation mood movement linked to that. And so if we want to invert the values of mood, click on that, there's this little box down here that says zero to 100. We're gonna switch those, make this 100 to zero. And now they move opposite each other. to go the full range of motion, you can edit these values. You could say, 
uh, 60 to 20, and that's going to limit the range. Uh, so all sorts of stuff you can do. I hope that this was useful to you. Uh, those are just a few tricks that you should definitely try out.